Hey you guys, welcome back to Rooted Homeschool. I am so glad you're here. If you're new here, I'm Christina and I'm a homeschooling mom of five kids, ages 18 months to 13 years old. So I have a kid in pretty much every stage of childhood between 18 months and 13 years old. In today's video, I'm sharing with you all about the music curriculum that we will be using for the upcoming 2021-2022 school year, Woven Melodies by Thistles and Biscuits. If you saw my curriculum picks videos during curriculum week a little over a month ago, I shared with you when I was talking about our family subjects that I would be using the Thistles and Biscuits music curriculum that had not yet been released at the time. I didn't know the name of it yet. I didn't know what it would include, but I knew that it would be beautiful and I knew that the content would be rich. And so I already planned on using it before I even saw it. It was released just one week ago. I've already printed it and prepped some of it and I'm so excited to share it with you today. It looks beautiful, just like I thought it would. So I'm going to explain a little bit to you about it and give you a little bit of a flip through. And I'm also, as usual, sharing with you my code for 10% off, not only this music curriculum, but any of the curriculum and resources that you find on the Thistles and Biscuits website. So Woven Melodies is a year-long multicultural music study exploring instruments and their composers across time and borders. So this is a year-long curriculum and it is a multicultural curriculum. I am so excited about this because I had not yet used a music curriculum at all. So I had not found a music curriculum that felt like me, that felt like us. Our style is pretty eclectic and artistic and none of the music curriculums that I found seem to fit that style. They seem to be more classic and I don't mean just classical music, like we're not into classical music. We actually have done composer studies and we did the artists unit at the end of last school year from Gather Around Homeschool. Myself and my kids all really enjoyed those composer studies and the artists unit from Gather Around Homeschool and just the approach that those mini units and that Gather Around Homeschool unit took because they were more of an eclectic style. They did mix different elements together as opposed to like this linear classic study and style of music. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. It just isn't our style. So what I'm really excited about with this is number one, everything is in beautiful watercolor, hand painted by Betsy and her husband over at Thistles and Biscuits. So not just beautiful, but it has no depth. This is both of those things. So I'm going to explain it to you as I flip through it because it will make more sense. But I will tell you from the beginning, there are three files that you get with this curriculum. So it is a PDF download. For a short time, it is being sold at an introductory price. The original price is already low. The introductory price is even lower. So this curriculum will be $24. The introductory price is $19. And then Betsy is still letting you guys use my 10% off code on top of that. If you use Rooted 10, you'll get 10% off on top of that. And you get a year long of music curriculum. It has the actual curriculum or teacher's guide, if you will, which is what I have printed and bound here. I print typically things like this that only come in a PDF. I print them at home and then I bring them to Staples to have them bound. I don't have a binding machine, but it's under $6. So I think it's like $5.70 to get it bound the clear cover and like a vinyl backing. So I really like the way this came out. I did not have the student workbooks printed and bound just yet because I haven't decided if I'm going to use them in a particular way. So I don't know if I'm gonna give each of my children a workbook or each of my three oldest or even two oldest children a workbook or if I'm just going to print the related pages as handouts when I want to. I'm not sure yet. I will show you what those look like but I don't have them bound. And then the third file that's included is the flashcards 
and Montessori three-part cards, and I'll show you those as well. So first, let me show you the actual curriculum so that you can see what Woven Melodies is all about. You guys, honestly, how beautiful is this? So even the front cover is just so beautiful, so inviting. So another little, I don't know if it's a hack or what, my husband always laughs at me because he's like, everything's a hack. The front page, I do print in cardstock just because like this plastic cover is nice, but it's not like super thick. It still is a little bit flimsy. So I'll do this first page in cardstock just to make it a little bit thicker. And so this just has like a little write up and then a little quote from Yo-Yo Ma. This explains all about the unit that is intended to be a year long 36 week unit based on musical instrument families. Then it talks about the links, the importance of hearing and seeing the musicians and composers. So there are over 200 embedded links and songs for this unit. And it says you'll use the digital version to access these. You simply click on the underlined portions where indicated on the PDF. So I will probably screencast this to my TV as I take typically do when we are working on something that is a PDF, whether or not I print it. So I actually like to have both. You do not need to print this at all though. So if you don't want to print everything, you don't have to do that. So this talks about the companion student guide. It does suggest that you print the workbook. They perfectly pair with each lesson. Then it tells you about the Montessori flashcards. It talks to you about the book list. So I love that there is a book list that goes along with this. I love when units include book lists because it just helps me plan ahead of time to, you know, check them out from the library or order them if I absolutely need to. It does include a glossary and then there is an additional playlist. Then it shows you the guide, how it's broken up into a year. So weeks one through three, four through six. So you'll notice that typically it follows the pattern of, you know, introducing you to a certain instrument and then focusing on a composer who utilizes that instrument and then that instrument around the world. So it starts off with the instrument, then a composer, and then a broader scope, a broader view of that instrument. So it follows that same structure throughout the unit. And then this just tells a little bit about Tim and Betsy, who are the creators of Thistles and Biscuits, are a really sweet family. You can follow them over on Instagram. And then these are the remaining weeks following that same pattern. And just like, look at these beautiful watercolor illustrations. Then here you get into your very first lesson. And this is all about the mandolin. And so again, there are links, there's the reading, there's a diagram of the mandolin. Then it talks about different types of mandolins or the mandolin's distant relations. You have some more links. Then you have the composer spotlight. And then obviously all of these that are underlined are links. Then there's a sketch of each composer as well. Then the mandolin music around the world. Then it gets into the drums and introduction and it follows the same pattern of introduction. Then you'll get a diagram of the instrument, a composer, and then drumming around the world. So about different types of drums. Then you have the harp and a diagram of the harp. Composer, harps around the world the accordion, the diagram, the composer, the accordion, harmonium, and concertina. Then you have the piano, diagram of the piano, composer, his history of piano and harpsichord, and then wind instruments, Diagram of a flute, your composer, wind around the world, guitar, your composer, styles and genres of guitar, banjo, 
Diagram and Composer, From Africa to Appalachia, Bagpipes, Horns, Louis Armstrong, so horns both ancient and modern, the sitar, bowed instruments, composer, bowed strings across the globe, and then you get to the glossary. You have the glossary, you have the book list, and I like how it breaks up the book list based on the different instruments. So it doesn't just give you one long book list, which is really helpful. And then it does at the end give you a longer list for general music that you could use at any time. And that is the complete curriculum. Next, I will show you some of the student workbooks. Okay, so like I said, I did not fully print and bind the student workbook, but I just wanted to print enough to give you an idea of what's in here. So this is the front cover, equally as beautiful as the main curriculum. There is a place for the student to put their name. It has the same year-long guide included right here in the student workbook. And then it starts off with a labeled diagram, just like in the actual curriculum. And then the very next page is for them to fill in the diagram. So this is one of those things where if I decide not to actually fully print this, I would print this and then like project this on the screen or put it on an easel and allow them to fill that in. And then it has, has the same format in terms of like writing or narrating what you know about the musician, describing what they're like when they play their music, describing their style of music, what the, what your favorite song is that they played and why. And then there's a sheet for learning more about the world of that particular instrument. So, you know, which style of this instrument was your favorite, which song really stuck out to you. And then um, through writing, dictation, or narration, being able to define some of the terms from the glossary and from the lesson. And then as you can see, it follows that same format throughout. So I just printed the first couple so that you can see that format that it follows. And then I printed a couple of the pages from the back of the book, which are just the quotes for copy work. So I printed the first two to go along with the first two instruments and composers in there. So the whole rest of the book follows that same format, same idea. And then the last thing that I wanna show you is the flashcards and Montessori three-part cards. So I printed them on cardstock. I laminated them with the matte laminating sheets. I prefer the matte for anything that I don't want them to write on with dry erase. So that's the only downfall of the matte is you can't use dry erase because they don't wipe clean. But I love the matte because you don't get the glare and it just doesn't take away from the quality of the artwork, especially in something like this. So here's the regular flash cards and here are the three part cards. I will probably not use all of these at once. I'll probably just start with like the first few. That's why I only printed the first few, but I will update you guys. Other recommendations are like hanging these on as like a banner. Um, you could do like a matching game. There's a lot of different stuff that you can do with these um, to utilize these three part cards. Okay, you guys, so that is everything that is included in the Woven Melodies year-long music curriculum from Thistles and Biscuits. I hope that gave you a good idea of what's included and if it might be something that is a right fit for your family for the upcoming school year. If you have any questions about it, let me know down below if you think you might try it or if you have purchased it. I know some of you have let me know over on Instagram when I shared it that you purchased it. If you are not following me yet over on Instagram, you can follow me there at rooted underscore homeschool for more day-to-day -day updates to kind of see a little bit into what our days look like and our learning looks like. 
Remember that you can use code ROOTED10 to get 10% off all of Thistles and Biscuits products. I've linked Thistles and Biscuits down below. If you are not already subscribed, I would love if you'd subscribe. Click that notifications bell so that you know when I have a new video coming out. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And I hope to see you again in one of my next videos. Until next time, stay rooted.